If you like this video, click on that subscribe button and be notified of more great ideas. Well, I've got two pieces of metal here. This one, uh, they're both quarter inch. This one is obviously uh, weighs more than the smaller one. And I have a pencil magnet purchased at a retail store here. It's a fairly long magnet in it. And we'll see if we can pick those up. Not a chance. And of course, if it didn't pick that one up, it's not going to pick this one up. Now here's a homemade magnet. No problem. This one here, even heavier. No problem. Now this magnet was made out of 5 sixteenths wood on this end and we have drilled a quarter inch hole in it and put a quarter inch barrel magnet a quarter inch long into the hole. Now the, uh, the 5 sixteenths uh, dowel just comes from the lumber store and usually comes in a three foot length and really isn't very expensive at all. The magnet that's uh, pressed into the end here and glued in is uh, it's from Lee Valley. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other sources for that. I can include a link to the Lee Valley one in the comments. And what we've done is we've taken a piece of this stuff. This heat shrink here comes uh, in all different sizes in this box easy to find and then we've taken our 5 16 dowel we'll just open the end here and slid it on and of course used a, a hair dryer or a heat gun to heat it up so it shrinks around the end to provide some extra strength because you'll find there's a very small amount of wood left after drilling your quarter inch hole into the 5 16 uh, piece here but it really works great. <clears throat> uh, now this is a quarter inch long and you can buy them a half inch long which would make them even stronger. So if you're looking for a magnet that really works well just make your own and it's not very expensive to do.